Hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to this webinar briefing. We are going to talk about an extended excessive heat wave that's going to develop for mid-June. This means temperatures much above average for at least a week, impacting most of our region, especially the valleys, mountains, and of course, all the deserts in Southern California. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist with the National Weather Service. This will be high impact for inland areas. Here are the highlights, excessive heat. Uh, it's gonna develop Sunday to Monday, last through all week into potentially next weekend. So a heat wave lasting five to seven days at least. High heat risks, so this affects all population areas, especially inland areas. Near record highs for inland areas, and this is true for the mountains and deserts, possibly even some of the valleys. We're also going to see increasingly warm temperatures overnight. What kind of temperatures are we talking about? 110 to 120 in the lower deserts. Inland Empire, inland valleys, 95 to 110. We could see it around 110 up in the hottest inland empire areas of Riverside and San Bernardino County. The high deserts too, you could be well over 105, closing in on 110. These are readings 10 to 20 degrees above average. Fortunately, the beach areas will see some relief with most of the beaches not getting over 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Elevated fire risk, and this is because of the hot, prolonged temperatures and the record dry fuels. We don't expect a lot of wind other than daily sea breezes, but humidity is gonna be low when that wind does pick up. We actually have a weather system moving through Southern California. Right now it's over Nevada and moving quickly to the east. This will be the change in our overall weather pattern. And, th and once this does exit, the winds will decrease, but we will remain dry. The marine layer will settle back down after getting mixed up and disrupted here in June. And then the upper level high pressure will build in. This is the upper level high pressure I'm talking about. This is a dome of hot air, not at the surface, not surface high pressure, dome of hot air deep in the atmosphere, 10 to 20,000 feet up where airplanes fly. This upper level high pressure in fashion like you'd see in July or August will build right over the Four Corners area and start to dominate our weather as early as Monday, bringing much warmer temperatures right on top of very dry air conditions. By the time we get it later in the week, Wednesday and Thursday, Upper level high pressure will become anchored over the Four Corners region and spread into Southern California shown here. Classic ingredient for excessively hot temperatures, especially over our inland areas, our mountains, valleys, and deserts. Now, because of the cooler ocean temperatures, this warm air will form low clouds and fog, and it'll keep our coastal areas in check, even though they will still be above average. Remember, this is June when we usually deal with the June gloom. Now, it doesn't look like it'll go away quick. By next weekend, it looks like upper level high pressure will weaken, shift southward a little bit as a weak weather disturbance moves into the Pacific Northwest. But I still think, you know, this will allow for continuation of the heat wave for our mountains and deserts. Over the next week, we expect the epicenter of the hot or much above average temperatures to extend from Wyoming across Utah and the Great Basin all the way into Southern California. And even when we look further out into the middle of June, it still looks like the Southwest and really all the West could be above average in temperatures. When we look at how unusual this is, we can see focused on Southern California from Las Vegas, Phoenix, down into Southern California, the air mass with this particular upper level high pressure is not only above average, it's in the territory of being very rare for June. So when we look at the potential for extreme heat, we can see it extends from Wyoming across Utah, down through all of Arizona, Las Vegas, and of course, across Southern California, our mountains, our valleys, and all of our deserts. The potential for extreme heat next week, record-breaking heat. 
We've had a heat wave so far this year. Here's a recap of what those temperatures were in early June. So for comparison, our deserts got up to between 108 and 111 with that recent heat wave. For this upcoming heat wave, we are talking about temperatures getting up at their peak between 115 and 120. It's been a very dry water year. Uh, some of our desert areas have seen less than an inch of rainfall. They're in territory of less than 25% of their seasonal average. So why does this matter? Um, this matters because the very dry conditions in our soil and vegetation, not only is this a threat for fire weather and expanding the ongoing drought, but it also can result in extreme temperatures when you have such a hot air mass shift right over that area, like expected next week. Heat risk, that takes a look at what the normal temperatures should be for June and compares them to the forecast temperatures. And we can see all the areas starting on Monday start to light up in the orange, so that's moderate, moderate severity. The red areas are already on Monday in high heat risk. So high risk to all populations in those red shaded areas. So temperatures will not only be hot, they'll be much above average. When we get into Tuesday, we can see it expands. The orange goes all the way to near the coast, the moderate levels. The red starts to show up in the high desert, in the Inland Empire, in the San Diego Valleys. So those areas now become uh, in the potential for risking large populations that are out in the heat or that are not able to cool down from this heat. We even start to see some purple shaded, which means two or more consecutive days of the red starting to show up all in the deserts. When we get into Wednesday of next week, the red is everywhere, oh, with even more purple across our deserts. So we start getting into a true heat wave, multiple days of extreme excessive temperatures and even temperatures near record levels. We can see there is some moderation and relief in this type of heat wave with a shallow marine layer, uh, low clouds and fog at times along the immediate coast. So our beaches and our immediate coastal cities, albeit above average, they are not uh, in the excessive heat category. Here's an outlook of the temperatures to break it down. Beaches mostly in the 70s on the true beaches, but right when you go inland, you're going to have temperatures in the 80s. In fact, some of the coastal cities at times during the peak of the heat wave next week, low to mid 90s. Inland valleys, there'll be a large range, mostly between 95 and 100, but our inland empire area between 100 and 109. I think even some of our inland valley areas of San Diego County, take a look next week. Don't be surprised if you see temperatures getting up near 105, even in the inland valleys of San Diego County. The mountain areas, not much relief. So places like Julian getting in the 90s, places like Big Bear getting well into the 80s, Idlewild 90s, some of our lower mountain areas in the low 100s. The lower deserts, so that includes like Borrego, Coachella Valley, Octeel Wells, 110 to 120, just the entire week in that range. So that's highlighted in red. Our high deserts areas, um, most of them will be every day above 100, and at the peak next week, areas between Victorville and Barstow could, Apple Valley, get up near 110. So excessive hot temperatures. Beat the heat. Uh, limit the outdoor activities. This is serious. This is, this is unusual and much above average in record territory, even for June. Drink plenty of water and fluid. Um, dress appropriately, lightweight, light-colored. The June sun angle, it doesn't get much higher than June. Check on the pets uh, and, and the elderly and never leave anyone, even if it's nine in the morning uh, when the sun is out in a vehicle. Relax and try to stay in a shady area or of course a cooling center or air conditioned building. Here are the highlights. Take a look at these highlights as we break away from this webinar. This is a significant heat wave, likely with high confidence for inland areas like the valleys, the mountains, and the deserts. We will be talking about temperatures much above average and even potential for record high temperatures. This also brings a risk to fire weather conditions with our 
already record dry fuels and the fact that this will be a dry, low humidity heat wave. Make sure you check weather.gov for the latest updates. See if your temperature changed from a forecast of 118 to 120 or from 97 to 99 type of thing. Check the latest weather forecast on weather.gov. Long duration heat wave, much above average. Record levels for inland areas. Don't forget the nights getting warmer and warmer as we go through the week. This is dry air. There will be a sea breeze and, and we will have to deal with some low clouds and fog at times on the beaches, but that marine layer will be squashed down to only a few hundred feet. We'll post information on Facebook and Twitter as we go through the week, including all the record high temperatures uh, that are broken. Stay safe, stay tuned, and plan accordingly for this heat wave.